This fight, five two-minute rounds under full Thai rules. Please welcome, fighting out of our red corner, Anna Heron. Now fighting out of the red corner, his opponent, please welcome, Cassidy Haberfield. Please welcome Anda Harry for Cassidy Haberfair. <laughs> All right, let's go. Both boys fighting five twos, full tie rules in eight ounce gloves. So they're the slightly smaller gloves. Oh, sensational. I like the eight ounces because you can feel noses in them or cheekbones yep, if you're punching I'd, hard enough. I definitely love uh, fighting in eights. I can't knock the top off of a custard, so I don't really often feel knuckles <laughs> in stuff. Oh, wasn't that a beautiful walk up left knee just then? Oh, followed up with a leg kick. Yeah, John Lee. Just fight the cops are kicking the gonads. Start again, it doesn't matter, mate. <laughs> Just throw a punch, it'll work. <laughs> this is the loudest I've ever heard, John Lee. Yeah. I think I've known him for, since I've started Muay Thai. Yep. And you get, hey, how are ya? And then he keeps going. Yep, I um, had a short conversation with him earlier tonight, it's probably the longest I've ever spoke to him. Known him nearly all my life as well. <laughs> Ender in the blue and Cassidy in the red. Cassidy's starting to push forward a bit more now. I like Round one, they're looking, they're, they're sizing each other yep. up and they're thinking and calculating their shots. So this is the first of the five rounders that we're having. So there's five twos and full tie rules. That's the first round done for us. Do you remember back in the day when you fought fight full time, time job and want to be a fighter? Yeah. Um, so I think it's just... It's promoters accommodating just our lifestyles as well, which is good. Yep. And I'm liking seeing a lot of promoters that are ex-fighters that are coming into it. Yeah, to yep. help do it and looking after There's the a lot of them, more. just like this show, Nick Atkins. It's one of many, actually. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice leg kick there yeah. from Cassidy. You, you heard that thud. Yeah. I like both boys are very calm, collected, but then when it comes to it, they're explosive. Yeah. That was um, nice different levels of Muay Thai just then. Inside leg kick, jab, then back to the leg. And that's what I reckon when it comes to this level of Muay Thai. It becomes a game of chess and playing mind games with the other person. Exactly like that question mark kick. Do what they're not going to expect. Speaking of chess, do you play it to try and exercise your mind on other avenues? I don't, but I used to with my dad when I was younger. He used to use it for that reason, but yeah. I haven't for years now. Yeah. Probably why I lost my last couple of fights. <laughs> Doesn't matter the result. matters how you go out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But um, yeah, because it's something that I've tried slowly adapting in. Just playing chess, like watching the Klitschko boys. You know, just stealing their ideas. Um, oh. oh! Is that a backhand? It was, it was a backhand flick with a step up left knee. And he walks that left knee up very beautiful, hey? Yeah. Better than I can do it. I was more thinking, did I just say that? <laughs> 
like my nail polish. <laughs> oh. Problem Cassidy. with elbow fighters, eh? Throw them big ones, looking for it. Yeah. It's the little ones that slide through that do the damage. Right huh? And stood at attention and just said, yes, coach. Yes, coach. That whole time. Yeah. Look at his face right now. Yeah. There's no emotion. There's only one destination where he's landing, and it's on Cassidy. You don't, you don't want to really play poker with the bloke, do you? No. <laughs> he's got that, that poker face covered. Oh, Cassidy Elbows. with that nice elbow. Cassidy trying to find that, that, that gap and make create that gap between each other. Yeah. Wayne just breaking it up there since nothing happening. The clinch went a little bit dead then. I'd like to see uh, Ender come forward a little bit more. But, um... So Ender had the good hold just then on top, and now he's given away back to Cassidy. Oh. So for those that don't know, when you're clinching, hands on top always scores better than hands around the waist. Hands around the waist says that you're tired and gassing. Um, hands on top shows that you're the dominant position. And you have more control on top. Nice double jab there from Cassidy. Oh, Ander's eating him and just holds that same emotion. Yep. It is a five round fight. I think the boys are still sussing each other out. Yeah. Trying and to find that mutual respect for each other's power. Definitely looks like Ander's still sussing him out. I hope. Oh. The typical fighter response, both of us. Oh. oh. <laughs> like, you were close, bro. <laughs> Good jab from Ander there. There's just no emotion in Ander's face, is there? Yeah. He's missing. It woke you. It tickled your sensory system, and you were <laughs> like, all right, that sucked. Let's go. Yep. Nice little fake there for Cassidy to take yep. the center. He, he does uh, that little walk-up. Well, they both do that little walk-up, skip in knee. Quite nice. Oh, beautifully so, done. Very beautiful. He clicked on that Ander just keeps checking or lifting up that front leg and he, and he took advantage of it and push kicked nice and high. Cassidy is ahead on points. Two rounds now, I'd say. Two rounds ahead. Uh, Cassidy needs an, an eight count to win or win the next three rounds. Ander. Ander needs the next three. Yeah, Ander, sorry, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Even I got confused. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Anders is looking for that KO shot for the highlight reel? I'm not sure. I think it might be his style, hey. He definitely needs to throw more. I think Cass has just found his rhythm in fighting right now, right then. He's, um... He started to play like that. See, there's that double jab and then kick. Covers up when Ander moves. Yep. It's just, there's, there you go. Now he's gone low again. Now he's gone the back leg. He's, he's playing those mind games that we were talking about earlier. I'd like to see Ander walk that left knee of his up constantly. Yeah. Hands up high and walk it up because he does it beautiful. Draw the attention out. Yep. Oh. Is it a nice body rip? Yep. And a returns the body rip, was it? Yeah. I couldn't see the ropes were in the way. <laughs> Only a painter. <laughs> <laughs> Apprentice. Yeah. There we are. Back to that leg straight away. Wouldn't be surprised if Cassidy goes high now. Yep. See Cassidy turn, turn out of the corner. Now we got some elbows. Oh, he's getting in trouble. The old 12 to 6 trick. No 12 to 6 apparently. Yeah. Different governing bodies allow different things. Welcome to Australian Muay Thai, fellas. Yeah. Nice left hook. Oh. 
that leg. He's gonna. Here we go. He's he's smelling that blood. I think Ander is one tough bloke and won't stop though. He's definitely not gonna stop. Oh, there goes the step up knee. I think Cass has awoken the demon. It's just taking him three rounds. How many times have you seen it happen though, where people just fire up and start too late in five round fights? Do we want to talk about my last <laughs> 20? <laughs> Reese, it's the fifth. No, nah, it's the third. Cassidy's playing that game, that mind game. Pretend the push kick and threw a left hook down and landed beautiful. Both boys right, listening. Just 30 seconds left to that I love listening to that music. As it comes in, that ting, 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 yeah. get faster. You're like, yeah, let's fight fast, boys. The second half of the round. The last little bit of the round. Oh. <laughs> See Cassidy looking at looking at Wayne if he can throw an elbow 12 to 6 or not. <laughs> yeah. Nice push kick. Wayne's got eyes on his fighters like Chubb Security. Have a look at him. Nothing's getting through. Oh, he's hurt himself. The bell went off. Right on the, yeah, right on the bell. He's hurt himself. I thought it was a five-rounder. Yep. Yeah. No one knows what's going on. Our sponsors of our co-main event of the evening. And as we go to our judges' scores. All judges score this fight 50-45 for the winner by unanimous decision. The red corner, Cassidy Harbourfield.